everybody. It is Saturday, September 23rd. I'm on day 17 of what could be a 14-day stay at Mount Sinai Hospital for CAR-T therapy. I was supposed to be discharged on day 14 and a couple of hours before discharge, uh, it was noticed that um, one of my inflammation markers in my labs was rising and my liver numbers were rising as well. So they opted for me to have a liver ultrasound. Everything is stable with the liver. Unfortunately, that inflammation marker keeps rising and it should be lowering. Um, they don't want to send me home with severe inflammation and then have something happen, uh, particularly the brain toxicity stuff that can happen. So I am still at the hospital. Uh, I'm going for a kind of empty neutrality around it. <laughs> Watching below deck marathons, embroidering, which is new for me. I'm very new to embroidery and that's been really fun. Um, yeah, so that I don't focus on the, the, the misery of uncertainty. Um, and just, you know, how many days I've actually spent in this hospital all summer. Although it's not summer, it's fall now. Uh, yeah, there's not much more to share. I'm really taking it day by day. Um, I'm getting... The medicine to try and thwart this rising of inflammation uh, is administered as two needles in my belly three times a day. So that's just another little layer of soft torture uh, that has now started for me since I've been here. Thankfully, I've been complaining about it enough and asking about it every day. Uh, welts were developing on my stomach and um now they're using ice packs like a half an hour before and after and it has really helped um the needles are extremely painful the medicine inside like totally burns so no really good news aside from that i am quite alive my myeloma cancer i believe is very low uh, my body's just trying to recover and restore itself from all of this treatment. And, uh, you know, I'm always grateful for the little things. And then uh, rightfully disappointed and miserable about everything else at the moment. That's all I have to share. Thank you so much for your support, for your prayers, for your well wishes. I know that so many people have my back and it's actually made it easy for me to, to be more of myself and not feel like it's all on my shoulders. Um, I know I have so many people, even when I'm at my weakest watching marathon television, there are folks praying and kind of being my best self for me. <laughs> so I thank you. And that's it till the next update, which hopefully will be that I'm getting out of here. Bye-bye.